Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So we already have full spoilers for the winter 2020 FabFitFun box customizations and I'm going to be going over those with you in this video now. If you're new to my channel, what I do is I record my computer screen so I can show you what's available. I don't claim to know everything, so if you've learned something that I don't share or maybe heard differently, please, please, please comment below. Let me know what you're excited to get. I'm also going to be talking about which choices I'm going to be getting from each of the customization options. So let's get into recording my computer screen now. Okay, so here we are in my computer screen and these are the full spoilers for the Winter 2020 About Fit Fun box. It is on hellosubscription.com. This link will be in the description box below. And here's the first spoiler, which is what the box will look like. And it looks really, really simple and cute. I like it a lot. FabFitFun is making an effort to use less ink on their boxes, so they are more environmentally friendly, so I like that. So there's the box. And then we're going to scroll down, and here is choice number one. So all subscribers, both annual and select, can sub uh, choose what they would like from this choice, and there are several options. This is the first one. It is this <clears throat> Vera Bradley compact organizer is what it's called and I found some more pictures on the Vera Bradley site so here it is on the inside and then this little side pouch comes out and the dimensions are seven and a half inches wide by 4.75 inches high by two in inches deep so and here's the description if you want to pause you can read that uh, so it looks like a simple makeup bag. It better be very, very nice with a $50 price tag. So that's the first choice. And I'm not, if you're curious what I am going to get, that I'm not going to get that. I don't need something like that. Here is the ever so popular Unhide Blanket. This was in a box. I think it might have even been a choice for last winter's box, but uh, people love, love, love this blanket so much that I had saved it for a gift, but I decided to go ahead and keep it. I still haven't opened it and washed it and tried it myself, but it is very, very soft. I have felt the material and it's very, very soft. It is supposed to be Fa Chinchilla, which is if you've ever pet a chinchilla, it is the softest animal you will ever have the pleasure of petting. It is amazing. I actually even considered getting one after I pet one, but they're a lot of work. So look into it if you ever consider that. I am so digressing on that. But okay, so I will probably just choose this option and save this one as a gift and use the one that I have. I am honestly not too thrilled about a lot of the choices for this box, but I do think there are a lot of good choices for me to replenish my gift stash so that I have things on, nice things on hand to give to people if I ever need a gift on the fly. So I will probably choose that option. These are very, very cute. These little champagne flutes. If you are a champagne drinker or you know anyone, um, I, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about that choice. Um, <clears throat> here's a really soft looking robe by Summer and Rose. They, it's FabFitFun has so many Summer and Rose uh, products all the time. Uh, and they're nice. They're nice products. Um, and then here is the Loli Tea Seed Elixir. So I have tried the Loli Plum Oil, and it is a very, very nice plum oil. The company is really clean, beauty, uh, sustainable, all that wonderful stuff. And if you are interested in something like this, it would be a good option. This multitasking serum nourishes the skin and hair with organic tea seed, flaxseed, and apricot oils. So I'm not really familiar with any of those oils, to be honest, but I do like the Loli brand. <laughs> Here are some Kate Spade earrings. And then this uh, teeth whitener that you plug into your phone and you put it in your mouth and it glows. Mobile White Advanced Teeth Whitening Kit. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a frog in my throat. <clears> throat. Excuse me. Includes mouthpiece, a three syringes with whitening gel, and mo mobile device adapters. Interesting. Okay, so that's choice number one. So for me, like I said, 
I will probably get the blanket, but let's just go through choice number one quickly again. Here's the case you can get from Vera Bradley, the blanket, the champagne flutes, the robe, the Loli TC elixir, the Kate Spade earrings, or the teeth whitener. Okay, so number choice number two are these really cute ceramic mugs from Lily Pulitzer. And this might be, I might choose these and put it in my gift stash. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this choice quite yet. Or the Claudelet, Claudelie, I don't know how to say the name of this brand. Uh, Claudelie Vino Source Moisturizing Sorbet. And this is on, available on Sephora. It has four solid stars for reviews and it is for dry or normal skin so if you have oily skin i would definitely stay away but here you can see it has four solid stars with a thousand reviews i think it even has just over four stars if i'm seeing that correctly and the main uh complaint some people here somebody said that the texture was weird i kind of wonder if this person had a bad bottle not worth your money but for the most part, people said really great things about it. Um, this person said that it broke her out. Uh, but that is, see, you can see the uh, negative reviews are kind of few and far between. Anyway, they're on Sephora, so you can uh, check them out. Oh, this person, it broke this person out too. So it broke a few people out for some reason. Uh, maybe the, the, maybe those people had more oily skin. Um, so there's that one. And if I weren't just so stocked with moisturizers, I do have dry skin. <clears throat> I would seriously get to consider getting this one, but I don't need any more moisturizers in my life. So this Murad product is also available on Sephora. We're going to hop over to the Sephora site and take a look at that. Oh, wait. Oh, is it, is it Ulta? Ulta. I apologize. I often get them confused. So uh, it has over four stars. Um, and let's go down here and see the... No, I don't want that. Okay. So let's take a look at the best, most helpful critical review. I have been a dedicated Murad user. Um, this person was disappointed in this product. No results. So I do remember reading kind of through the negative reviews on this and people just generally said that it didn't do anything for them. So we'll see. Like right here, this person said just a moisturizer, and a lot of people that reviewed it said they received it in a FabFitFun box, so this person said it didn't do anything for them either. So a handful of people, the negative reviews seem to say it doesn't do anything for them, and of course the positive reviews say it's amazing and does something for them. So that's a pretty good rating though, over four stars. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with my videos, I do talk about how in order to help my, myself, help me make my own choices, I will lean toward what is more cruelty-free and what isn't. Murad here, it says it's cruelty-free and Murad is cruelty-free, but they're owned by Unilever, which is not cruelty-free. And so that could be an angle that you want to use to help me make your decision. That's just what I do. I mean, whatever you want to do is fine, of course, but just a little tip there. And then the Algenist, uh, this is on either Sephora or Ulta after my last uh, <laughs> one. I'm not sure, but I believe Sephora. Yeah, so this one has uh, four solid review, four solid stars on Sephora. And uh, things are just popping up all over my computer. So let's go and see. Um, oh, two one-star reviews at first. It doesn't help at all. It makes lines more prominent. Uh, nothing notice absolutely no difference so like most products there are a lot of people that or a handful of people that will say it didn't do anything for them um, and then this has four solid stars out of almost a thousand reviews so again four solid stars it's for normal dry combination and oily skin Algenist products seem to be well liked I haven't tried anything by them um, 
<clears throat> and then here's the scarf. This is probably what I will choose, either this or the mugs from this option. This is just a really cute scarf and I imagine it's really soft. So the Lucky Brand Solid Brush Scarf. So, or you could get the uh, Impressions Vanity Company LED Vanity Mirror. I have a mirror like this on my vanity and it's okay. I kind of wish I would have looked for something different, a different style. Of course, I film videos so I can't get a really nice big mirror because my camera goes right where it would go. Uh, so I had to get this, but if I didn't film videos, I wouldn't go with something like this personally. That's just my own personal opinion. So let's just run back through the choices for number two. <clears throat> so this is number two choice. Uh, this is the mugs. We have the mugs. And then we have the Caudalie Moisturizer, good for dry to normal skin. And then we have the Murad Rapid Collagen Infusion. And then we have the Algenist Complete Eye Renewal Balm. And then we have the Lucky Brand Poly uh, Solid Brush Scarf. And then we have the LED Vanity Mirror. And then for choice number three, we have the Ilia Mascara. This is the Ilia Beauty Limitless, Limitless Mascara. I've been really curious to start trying things from this brand. They're available at Sephora. They're clean at Sephora, cruelty-free. They won the best of beauty. This product won the best of beauty um, award from Allure in 2019. So <clears throat> that's pretty awesome for clean beauty. So that's pretty awesome. I Like I said, I've been curious to try it. They have just over, this product has just over four stars with a thousand reviews. And um, let's go see what we got here. So I skip over the great ones because of course they say wonderful things. Let's, I just like to spot check the negative reviews. Uh, this person didn't get length, volume, or fullness. It's just not for them. I find that happens for me with a lot of the clean mascaras too is I just don't get the results that I want from them. So while I'll probably try this, I don't have high expectations for being blown away. <clears throat> this person said it makes uh, their lashes long, but the applicator is messy. It seems to get everywhere. Um, messy. So the general uh, criticism is that it's messy. Okay, so it's a little bit messy and doesn't make uh, some people's lashes as long and amazing as they'd like. I'm still going to try it because I don't really have any other choice, uh, things from this choice that I really am interested in. This is the Laura Geller, so the next choice is Laura Geller Cinnamon and Spice Eyeshadow Palette. I have been exploring Laura Geller as a brand and I am pleasantly surprised. I haven't heard anything about her eyeshadow palettes. I searched this and it looks like it's available at Macy's. Her, her stuff's available at Macy's. Um, I didn't find this particular product though anywhere and any reviews on it. <clears throat> okay, now the Dr. Brandt stuff seems really really wet, well loved and I would really like to try it except for they are definitely not cruelty free and that kind of turns me off so I haven't tried any of them so this choice has two things uh, from Dr. Brandt that you could try and I imagine that both of these products could work really well in tandem so this one so if, if they weren't if they were cruelty free, I would probably be going for this these choices, but I'm gonna go ahead and skip them. So we have the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Purifying Cleanser available on Sephora, also just over four solid stars with only 32 reviews. Um, and it is for pores, acne, and blemishes and oiliness because it has salicylic acid. So let's see. Oh, this person was very disappointed, did not get rid of anything on their face, it seemed. Uh, such a waste of time and money. Otherwise, people, oh, it's okay. I would recommend the, this problem if you have acne-prone skin and large pores. 
it is not usually a product I go for, but I oh, received it in their boxy charm. Okay, so this obviously it's for a certain skin type. So this could be really good if you fall under that category. And uh, if, but be mindful, it's not cruelty free if that if that is something that you consider. And then uh, there's the Dr. Brandt Poroderm Abrasion. I remember when I first joined FabFitFun, the Dr. Brandt Poroderm and Microderm Abrasion products were getting a lot of love. And let's see, this one's also on Sephora. Four solid stars, 290 reviews. It's for normal combination and oily skin, so it's not for dry skin. So neither of these products even say they would be for me. Like I said, I have dry skin. Uh, let's see if we can spot check a couple of um, negative reviews. If we have any ones or two stars. Oh, here's a one star. Let's see. Worst product I've ever used. Um, it doesn't exfoliate my face, and I really think it clogs my pores more. I used it two days in a row, and my nose hasn't been as broken out with blackheads in a while. Okay, so that seems to be an outlier, though. The rest are pretty solid stars. Okay, so there's that choice. And then this is really cute. Lily Sadugi Maroon, Maroon Velvet Headband. I looked it up. She has a bunch of headbands like this. It's really cute. I'm not sure that I would go for it. And I have a really unusually large head, so I would probably get a headache. I remember getting headaches from headbands. So let's just go back over choice number three once more. So we have the Ilia Mascara, the Limitless Lash Mascara. That's what I will choose. We have the Laura Geller. Let's go back to the colors. So if you want to pause and look at them. Laura Geller Cinnamon and Spice Eyeshadow Palette. The Pore Purifying Cleanser from Dr. Brandt. The Pore Derm Abrasion from Dr. Brandt. And I'm not saying out loud the retail values. I figure you can see them here. That's why I haven't been saying them. I'm sorry if that bothers you. <laughs> I just realized that. And then the Lily Sadugi Maroon Velvet, Velvet Headband. Now for choice number four, I'll start saying the retail prices out loud. So for choice number four, we have these Kate Spade New York Workout Socks. This is a $24 value. Not much else to say about that. We have these slipper socks from Mucklux, and these are a $25 value. I looked this company up. They've been around for a while um, uh, since the 70s. And then we have a hair mask from Vore Hair Care, Rhythm and Rain Hair Mask and Scalp Detox. This is a $28 value. This is available on Ulta. Their products are available on Ulta. And it has excellent, excellent reviews, like nearly five stars. And it is uh, out of 48 reviews, which is pretty darn amazing. Um, this person didn't like it, this main helpful critical review, they didn't like it because it, they say it's not truly cruelty free. Um, I mentioned being cruelty free and they're kind of different levels of how strict you want to be with cruelty free. This person's clearly very strict. They consider only vegan products to be cruelty free, which I totally appreciate the argument. I don't, um, I am not vegan with my uh, beauty products, which you know, maybe some people might see that as hypocritical and I can see the argument, but it's hard. It's really hard to be that strict. But anyway, I am uh, back to the point. The reviews are really, really solid on this. I just recently used their shampoo and conditioner and I am not into them. I talked about them in my last product review video, video, <laughs> excuse me, and I just... I was excited to try them and I just did not like them and they also have really good reviews not nearly as amazing as this but because of that I'm a little bit like eh, I don't know but of the options in this in this customization choice this is pretty much the only one that I really like so I'll probably choose this anyway and give the brand another chance and then we have a Tula skincare rose and glow rose glow and get it in cooling and brightening eye balm sorry and this is a $30 value oh oops I meant to hit search and this one 
is available on Ulta. I had to go scroll down a little bit to find it, which was kind of interesting. Oops. They have an original that doesn't have any color to it. That's the blue one that I just pulled up. But this one is, uh, so this one has good reviews. The main complaint though, I'm going to say is, uh, that some people really had a bad reaction to it. So they had terrible itching and burning on their eyes. So if you're somebody who experiences that kind of thing, I would definitely, definitely steer clear of this. Um, otherwise, it you know it has it looks like this, so it definitely adds a little bit of a sheer, shimmery pink under your eye, and then it has caffeine to tighten it up. Other than people having bad reactions to it. Uh, which were a few people. I did read through them and it was it wasn't just one person um, it, People so other than that people seem to really really like it uh, There was some people that said it didn't really do much for them, but yeah, it It looks like a lovely eye brightening product I don't think that it's something that I would reach for so I'm not really into getting it um and then the next thing is by flight mode. It's a high alt altitude hydration mask. And I did find a lot of reviews on this. It's a $39 value. It is an Australian company and it's owned by the same folks who do the Generation Clay and also the Black, B-L-A-Q company. So they're all owned by the same people. So if you know that you like stuff by those brands, maybe this would be something that you might want to try. I don't know why, but it doesn't really speak to me and I can't really put my finger on it, partially because I couldn't really find any reviews, like solid, solid reviews on it. Um, let's see, let's double check myself on that. There could be uh, some reviews, but like, uh, oh yeah, here, I didn't check Amazon. See, there wasn't much to read about it. So I think that's part of why I didn't really, I didn't really like it. It has three reviews on their own website. I always try to find reviews elsewhere, um, aside from the company's own website. And that's just taking too long. So anyway, and then that's the last choice from this option. So let's go back and recap. So we got the Kate Spade workout socks retails for $24. The Mucklux cabin socks retail for $25. The Vore Rhythm of the Rain hair mask and scalp detox retails for $28. This is probably what I will choose because I just don't I'm not interested in anything else in the in this uh, customization choice. The Tula Skin Care Rose Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm retails for $30. And the Flight Mode Skincare High Altitude Hydration Mask retails for $39. Who knows? Maybe I'll maybe I'll give this a go instead of the Vore. We'll see. Um, okay, so now this is for choice of five. Annual subscribers may choose on this one, and se seasonal subscribers will get a surprise. This is the Butanique Guardian Angel Gel Eye Masks and Eye Gels. So I will probably choose this one. They retail for $25. And something I thought was interesting is I never really read too much about this brand. Let me just make sure that I'm remembering correctly. So, um, yeah, I really like the values behind this brand. And I never, I've, they've been available in many FabFitFun sales. And with all the research that I typically do on the products available in the sales, I'm surprised I never found this out about this brand. Um, so they are very much into being clean and cruelty-free and vegan. So... That was a pleasant, pleasant surprise about Butanique. And I'm excited to try the eye gels. As far as eye gels go, there weren't, I like to find a solid amount of reviews on a product before I can feel really confident about it. I didn't find a good amount of reviews. So you could either choose these, well, if you're annual, or you'll get a surprise if you're seasonal, um, or some cutting boards, a set of four. They retail for <laughs> not $1,995, $1995. Or you can choose the DP Hue Apple Cider Vinegar Dry Shampoo Powder. Retails for $24. This also had four solid stars on Ulta. It's funny, pretty much all of the beauty products that are available in the choices all had four solid stars. This is, packaging is different. Oh, this is just their dry shampoo, not their dry shampoo powder. 
<clears throat> oh, interesting. Oh, here's oh, dry shampoo powders on Sephora. It looks like a newer product, and it has three and a half, just over three stars. So someone really didn't like it. Two people thought it was good, and someone really didn't like it. Um, it made their hair chalky. But that's only three reviews. So like I said, I like to be able to find more reviews on products before I can really feel confident in the feedback. Um, so that's that choice. Must be a newer product then if it only has three reviews. So let's recap on number choice number five. We have the Butanique Eye Gels, $25 retail value. The Cutting Boards, $19.95 retail value. And the DP Hue Apple Cider Vinegar Dry Shampoo Powder Retail Value of 24. Now for item six, this is FabFitFun will pick. They have the Wish Vanilla Bean Lip Scrub. And I actually have this back from when they used to put this in a tub. And I'm still using it and it's still great. I still like it a lot. The Wish brand is um, really great. It's a brand that I like. They, You can see it written here. Paraben free, sulfate free, phthalate free, DEA and TEA free, cruelty free, uh, petrochemical free, leaping bunny certified. So all the values that I really <clears throat> find attractive in brands. And this is a $20 retail value. I do like my lip scrub from them. <clears throat> now this, this is the other thing that you could get. And this is the Paradox Lucky Stars Blemish Patches. It's kind of cute. You could put stars on your face. I have the Mighty Patch ones. I have the Cause RX ones. I have plenty of these. So I'm not really, I'm hoping that I don't get this one. But these are on Etsy. And that's where I found them, and you can find reviews on them on Etsy if you are interested in these. And the, they retail for $18. $18. Or you could get this Below the Belt Croc card case. So it's fall leather, and it retails for $35. I looked up the company, and they really did start off making belts, and they... Uh, started off from boutiques a couple some boutiques got together and started this brand and they're trying to grow and expand uh, and then so let's recap on number six so you could get the wish lip scrub $20 retail value you could get the paradox uh, blemish patches uh, $18 retail value or you could get the below the belt croc card case retail value of $35 so now on to number seven. Uh, they have the Daily Concepts Daily Facial Dry Brush, a uh, retail adult value of $20. They say if you do this on your face, you can stimulate lymphatic pathways and reduce puffiness, which is the point of dry brushing. They say it stimulates lymphatic pathways. I'm not sure how um, well confirmed that is by science, but it is very, very trendy to do dry brushing right now. And then they have the scrunchies from Noir Jewelry Ombre Leopard Scrunchies for a retail value of $25. Um, and then, oh, that's the only two choices from this one. So I hope I get the, I don't, I don't really like either of the choices, to be honest. So to recap, we have the dry brush for the face, retail values for $20, and then the scrunchies which i would want the scrunchies or they retail for 25 dollars, so they better be awesome i would want the scrunchies i'm not too big of a fan of leopard print for me for myself i do appreciate it but not for myself and so but of these two choices i hope i get the scrunchies and then uh item number eight this is also a fat fit fun pick we have the Aestheta liquid eyeliner and this is a $21 retail value. And you know, for some reason, I've read about this company several times and on their website, and it never sticks. There's something about this company that just, it goes right over my head. I don't, I don't really, I'm, I'm not really terribly impressed by this. Oh yeah, by them. They're in Miami. They're PETA certified. Um... Yeah, and that they are, they, yeah, they love makeup. They love making makeup, basically. There's, yeah, I don't know why. For some reason, this company hasn't left an impression on me. And then the London Town Cur Get Well Nail Recovery. I've been loving exploring the London Town products. I bought a bunch of their stuff in past sales, and at this point, I do feel like I have 
enough. I have my fill. I don't really need to explore anymore. Uh, but I don't have this product, so I suppose over the Aesthetica, I would prefer getting this one. This is a retail value of $20. Nourish your nails with a blend of alpha hydroxy acids and vitamins B5 and C. That's interesting. So I guess AHAs are chemical exfoliants for our faces. That's kind of interesting. I wonder what that would do for our nails. I don't know. Huh. Okay. Anyway. And then the last thing that you could possibly get from uh, number eight is the Phase Zero Makeup Moving. Whoop. Nope. <laughs> makeup. <laughs> makeup Making Moves Blusher. Oh. Phase Zero Makeup Making Moves Blusher. <laughs> wow. I'm okay. Okay. A silky smooth formula blends seamlessly onto the skin for a gorgeous flush of color. $27.50. This is also like the Aesthetica, a brand that hasn't left an impression on me. And I don't really know why. I I think that I have a, a bias if it's available on Sephora and Ulta. And I know that that's not really a, a good thing. You know, there are a lot of up and coming brands that are pretty awesome. So it says that they're clean, cruelty-free, all of that. Um, I also couldn't find much on an about page for them. They have, oh, wait, I don't know why I think that. Nope, see, this doesn't load. I'm clicking away and nothing's happening. So I think that's partially why I couldn't find an about page and I put a lot of weight on finding an about page that describes the brand. So that's it. Those are all of our choices for the winter box. Like I said, I'm not terribly excited about the choices in this box. A lot of this stuff will go to my gift stash. Let me know in the comments below what you're choosing. I'm so curious what people are excited for and I want to learn from you as well. So definitely, definitely let me know what you've found out. So if that's it. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye.